At the very beginning of jazz, it was always a cocktail of different things where you'd have like the gospel influence and the blues influence. What's happening now is just you're hearing the core traditional values of jazz being mixed with things that people recognise as today's music. When I listen to, to people like Dizzy Gillespie, I'm hearing someone that was writing music for people to dance and vibe to. This is dance music. Imagine if Del Boy had a Juno 106. That's what you'd do. You'd play one chord and then just use this thing and make the whole tune. So there you go, you just put a beat over that and then you're in the you're in the house charts, mate. For me, like the traditional jazz language, it's not really something that I speak, you know. I'm just coming at it from more of a vibe. When we get on stage, for me, it's like a sport, you know. I feel like we're getting up there to try and tuck away a nice free nil. It's not a start to finish, here's play song one to song eight, and that's our set list. We don't have a set list. And the crowd can feel that as well when they watch it, they, they can always sense that, that they're seeing something exclusive that they're never gonna see again. That's what jazz is to me. That's what jazz means, like, is when you're not thinking anymore and you're just expressing, it's just coming out, you know? And it's a beautiful feeling. It's a beautiful feeling. It's raw expression. I'm not a great pianist or guitarist, but I really want to show people how I write and what is really the root of it for me and what is the most honest version. So I do play some of my songs on guitar. I could get my guitarist to play the song for me, but I'd rather play it how I wrote it when I'm in my room and I feel something. And, and then when I'm on stage, I feel that and the audience feels that. And I think that's a big part of, of jazz is portraying something that is real and expressing yourself. Intoxicating when you watch me With eyes that linger on my eye skin In my mind, wrong and strong mate, I'm just doing it, I'm doing it. I'm not even gonna change <laughs> for whatever reason. If it's ambience, if it's noise, if, if it's just a lo-fi track that I've started to make, just off the program sounds from in Ableton. Great, that's what I'm saying. I love that, I'm totally into that, man. Any sort of like jazz influence, the only thing I've probably taken from that sort of element is probably just the improvisation part of it. Like a lot of people I know, I just like the physicality of, of touching something and kind of feeling like I've got something real in my hands. I feel like you feel more connected with something like that. South London in general, it's almost like right now, there's this sort of melting pot of people that is, it's all meant to kind of like align in the way it's happening. My studio's in Lewisham, and when, when me and Quake moved there, I was coming out the back door, and I, was just, I saw Max and Joe, I was just like, what are you saying? Said, oh yeah, we live over there now. I was like, is it? Raw. And then I saw Theo, and I was like, what are you doing around here? He said, bro, I live, I have work around the corner. This is what I'm saying. This was meant to happen. I think by being in an area where there's a lot of young people and there's a lot of interesting creative people, it's incredibly inspiring because it's a very DIY element to a lot of the creativity that goes on down here. They really like try and incorporate as many like facets that are available to them as they possibly can. We can just do it. There's nothing stopping us here. Getting an electronic element into a more traditional jazz setting and then creating something that's not quite either. I think that's a really interesting thing. The, the players in the scene are like, incredibly open to electronic music. Bashment or grime or, or drum and bass or garage have all influenced these people as well. 
that's what I think a lot of this music is embodied by, this idea of like fusing things. I play tuba, which is one of the oldest instruments used in jazz. But if I play a grand bass line on it, or if I play something like P's and Q's on it, it's just as relevant as if it was a machine. Because it's about the music you're making, not about how the sound is made. And I think when live musicians make music in that way and kind of play with the same energy, it comes across even more. Because nothing beats the experience of live musicians playing to live people. For me, it was finally getting to see BBK. Like, the mosh pits were crazy. My boy dislocated his shoulder in one of them. Right. <laughs> there was one moment where um, Skepta comes out before anyone else is coming out. He starts spitting one of his old bars. I'm yeah, doing it again. Yeah, he tried to stop yeah, me, oh but and days. then the guy wheeled it up. Yeah. And everyone, we just knew from that moment, <laughs> this is going to be mad. And I, I just thought, I want to do that. I want to be able to just do something small and people get so gassed to the point where people are just screaming into the air. Yeah. No one knows why. We all felt like Goku in that moment. Like, yeah. And I was thinking, why can't I do that with my bass? Why can't we do that with jazz? 